Hello, welcome to Alpha Motors here in Wigan. My name's Dom and today I'm excited to show you around this lovely 2017 67 Reg Jaguar F-Pace V6 S all-wheel drive. This one is the D-Auto, obviously 300 horsepower, really, really nice refined drive to these. I've driven the 180s, now I've finally driven the 300 as well. I can say that this one drives absolutely fantastic. There's just something a lot more refined about the six cylinder engine and then obviously you've got that sort of edge of performance as well so when you flick into the dynamic you've got the full uh, dynamic interface in the computer of the car so you've got your uh, lap timers and, and so on so i'll show you through to that in just a moment but this car is a mega mega spec vehicle boasting over 5800 pounds in factory extras so in this video, I've photographed the vehicle, I'll show you an in-depth view on the car, so we'll go around all the paintwork, the interior, the alloys, and I'll try and show you some of the specification as well. So, first of all, it's finished in the stunning and highly desirable Santorini black metallic paintwork. You've got a full exterior black package with that one as well, so when you see the car, the road presence is absolutely immense, black on black, and then straight away inside, you can see a bit of that ivory leather, which is quite a nice contrast. So, coming through to the front bumper first, that's in nice order. Obviously, it's not a brand new vehicle, so it will have a few stone chips. You've got your LED daytime running lights within the headlamps. You've got your headlamp wash, front and rear park assistance on this one, as well as the reversing camera. Now, the black package gives you the gloss black center grill your lower side mouldings and grills, lower diffuser there as well and then coming through to the alloy wheels it's riding on upgrade 20 inch venom 5 twin spoke alloys also in the gloss black all of those are in really nice order throughout you can tell they've been well cared for uh, riding on nice nice tyres you've got the Jaguar performance red brake calipers within there as well you've got your Jaguar red centre caps so when you look at the wheel, you've got a very nice uh, sort of red element in there. Looking through, you've got mud flaps all around, which is a fantastic thing to have on a 4x4. You've got your side mouldings in the gloss black. You've got the matching mirror caps, privacy glass. You've got the roof rails. Now this looks like a standard roof, but this is a full panoramic glass roof. So I'll show you through to that in just a moment. Just looking down the side of the car, no signs of any dings, not that I can see. Driver side rear wheel, also really nice order. Nice mud flaps there. You've got the S all wheel drive designation to the rear. Obviously, because it is the S, you get the more aggressive lower diffuser. Dual exhaust with the chrome exhaust tips. F pace, you've got your reversing camera just in there as well. Electric tailgate, so press of a button and it elegantly glides up. Loads of boot space in these F paces, they are very, very practical. You've got your split folding rear seats if you ever need more room. You've got a power outlet in the rear. A nice thing on this one, you've got a space saver spur wheel with all the kit to change it. Locking wheel nut is just in there, which is a very nice thing to have. Usually these cars, they come with a tyre inflation kit press of a button and it glides back down. You've got the parcel shelf in there as well. Gloss black pack, it gives you all the window surrounds in the black instead of the bright silver. Passenger side rear wheel, nice order. Paintwork again, nice order. So, stepping through to the interior, you get a nice ebony black and ivory contrast leather. That is in superb order throughout. Looking at the driver's seat, you've got the S embossed into the headrests of the front seats. The centers are obviously in the black. They're part perforated, heated front seats, so the heat sort of seeps through the perforations in the, in the, in the seats. You've got the contrasting stitch on the ivory leather, which is a nice touch. 
The bolster itself, obviously that's where you'll get most of your work getting in and out of the car, especially on a, on a big supportive bolster like this one, but very minimal wear on that. These are fully electric front seats, so the drivers and the passenger seats are fully electric heated seats. The driver has the freeway memory as well, so you can set yourself as driver one, and then your partner can be driver two. Just press of a button, that adjusts the steering wheel, as it is a fully automatic electric steering column. It adjusts the seat and all of the mirrors for you. Now mirrors wise, park folding mirrors, electric windows, you've got the child lock for the rear, central locking, Meridian surround sound system, very nice quality sound for this car. We'll jump inside, close the door and we'll start the car. The car itself is supplied with two lovely keys. To start the car, all you need to do is put your foot on the brake, press the start button in the center, and then the car rumbles into action. I'll just pull the seat back a tiny smidge so you can see the full cabin. So, steering wheel, a nice leather, soft leather to the touch. That's in fantastic order, you can tell. None of the leather started to rub. There's no signs of any nicks on there. It's a multifunction steering wheel. You've got the S designation there. You've got the heated steering wheel, which is a, a nice thing to have, especially during the winter. You've got cruise control and speed limiter, voice command modes for all your volume controls and your media, automatic lights, automatic wipers, as you'd expect on a car of this caliber. You've got the flappy paddles, which follow the steering wheel as you turn it. Then you've got the full digital uh, cockpit here as well. So clicking through, the car's yet to go through our pre-delivery inspection. So obviously during this, uh, it goes through our 128 point inspections. Uh, and then from there, obviously, we'd fill up the uh, washer fluid there too. But nice car. As we're doing the video today, the car's only covered 42,617 miles, which is absolutely nothing to one of these. Being a digital dash, you can actually change everything on here. So you've got your driver assistance, you've got your favorites, you've got your source, vehicle information, vehicle settings, display, trip computer. If we click in through to display, press full map, that looks fantastic. You're driving along, you've got the map right in front of you there. You've got your miles per hour, road speed limit. And then coming through to the center display, you've got the bigger screen on this one. So usually you'll find you've got buttons on the sides, but this is the, uh, the newest system. So as I showed you there, you've got the full satellite navigation. Clicking back through to home media so that includes a full DAB radio with all the extended channels clicking through to source you've got your online media and media library there as well telephone obviously Bluetooth phone with the music streaming I believe you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this one so you've got all me uh, the methods of uh, the music web browser reversing camera I'll flick the car into reverse and I'll show you that. You've got the reversing camera there with the guidance lines. Front and rear park assistance there as well. We'll flick it back into uh, park. And then from there, you've got your contacts, voice, Bluetooth, and the iDynamic, which is, you can only get this on the S models. So, what we'll do is we'll flick it into sport. Obviously, this is all your drive select. So you've got dynamic, normal, eco, and all terrain. You've got the low friction launch on the ice, gravel and snow uh, mode. So if you ever do get stuck in ice, you can get out of there easily. Now that we've flicked it into uh, the dynamic mode, you've got all the setup there as well. So looking through, you've got your engine dynamics. So that increase, increases the engine response. Uh, you've got the gear shifts, which let you shift faster steering feedback and then the suspension feedback as well and then on there you've got your lap timer you've got your best there as well obviously that's never been used 
I doubt this car's ever been on a track, so obviously there's no best lap on there. You've got your G-forces, and then you've got your inputs there as well for your throttle and your brake. Cool thing to have. We'll flick it back into normal mode. Then you've got your dual zone climate control with air conditioning, heated front screen. You've got your heated front seats there as well. They're really easy to operate. Obviously the gearbox, it's a scroll wheel, so you've got reverse, neutral, dynamic, and then when you press it down and to the side, it puts you into sport mode there as well. You definitely feel a difference when you change it from uh, the, the sport and the normal. Central cup holders, you've got a nice armrest there, that's in nice order. You've got a HDMI port, two USBs, you've got a sim, micro SIM card input, so basically what you can do there is you can get a duplicate SIM card from your phone provider, stick it into the car and then you can answer calls through the car without having to connect your Bluetooth. You've got your 12 volt power socket there as well. All the books are within there. And then finally I'll show you through to the rear seats. Just put the window down. So in the rear it's the same story, specification actually follows through. So you've got the leather onto the door cards. And the seats themselves are in nice order. You've got Isofix in the bottom for your child seats. Central armrest with two cup holders. If you look at the backs of the front seats you can tell they've not been kicked or scratched. All the netting is in very nice order. Full panoramic glass roof there as well. When you're sitting in the back you get the full benefit, benefit of that. In the rear, you've actually got heated rear seats on this one. You've got two USB ports, so if you've got children, they can both be sitting in the back, uh, all nice and toasty, obviously charging their phones. You've got a power socket there as well. And then having a look inside the cabin, just screams pure luxury. A lot of bright silver detailing, a lot of gloss black detailing. It just looks fantastic. So, if you'd like any more information on this Jaguar S, you can give us a call on 01942 231 123. You can email us at sales at alphamotors.co.uk. At the moment, we are working on click and collect, so if you wanted more information on that, we'd be happy to explain that to you. But again, thank you for watching our video. If you wanted any more uh, personalised images of the car or a personalised video, we'd happily do that for you. But again, thank you for watching and have a great day.